Hey guys, normally what I do is I tell a ghost story from Okinawa. However, in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about something that I found interesting, and it's how the Japanese believe spirits work. The story that I'm going to tell you today is from mainland Japan, and it's a 100% true story, and this same story has happened to dozens of people. Anywhere in the world you may go, there will always be tales about ghosts. And in Japan, spirits of the deceased are called yurei. According to folklore, every human has a soul, called the reikon. The reikon enters into a sort of purgatory, waiting for those of the living, being family or friends, to perform burial rituals, allowing it to pass on to the next realm. However, at times, not everything goes right. In events where a person is murdered, killed in an accident, or natural disaster, or even not given a proper burial ceremony, the reikon could be consumed by negative emotions such as anger, fear, sorrow, or hatred. In Japanese lore, from this point, the reikon returns to its physical realm, transforming into a yurei. This spirit will continue to haunt the earth until laid to rest, or whatever unfinished business has been resolved. For example, bringing a murderer to justice. The yurei will appear in the general area where it died. According to Japanese myth, if this spirit is allowed to haunt over a period or how powerful its emotions were, could start physically interacting with the living. Often, stories from the past depict how people feared these spirits to exist everywhere. Even in modern Japan, some believe the yurei to be haunting areas. In 2011, a tsunami devastated the Japanese coast, killing 16,000 people, including nearly 3,000 Ishinomaki residents. A few years later, with the city being restored and people going on about their lives, an unusual phenomenon started occurring among local taxi drivers. They all told a similar story where they pick up a passenger in an area of Ishinomaki, ravaged by the tsunami. The meter is started, and when the cabbie asks about the destination to the person in the back seat, they've disappeared. The taxi drivers reporting these phantom fares believe the ghosts were those who perished in the disaster. Skeptics have ruled such reports as lies, or half-truths, hallucinations, or even mental health issues resulting from the stress of the tsunami. However, despite the rational explanations, certain websites report the encounters with ghost passengers are on the rise. Anyway guys, I just wanted to share that with you. I thought it was really interesting the way Japanese people view spirits and how so many of these phantom spirits are asking for taxis right where the tsunami devastated Ishinomaki. So what do you think of all this? Do you guys believe in spirits? Do you have any ghost stories for yourself? Leave it in the comments below. And as always guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.